All right, guys, so we have the sign in a really good position right now. Well, except for this falling light. But right now, it is time to work on the waterfall, and it is going to be a really fun process because I really like working with features that include water. Like in, the, in this section, I made the fish tank, and I don't know, it's just really cool to use water features. So we're going to start building this, and uh, yeah, let's do it. So the first thing I want to do is continue this marble surface a little bit further, and I think it would be cool if I had a kind of a broken, shattered look to this area over here. So I'm gonna take another one of these panels and I'm gonna break it on the ground and I'm gonna see how that will all fit in here before I draw out where the fountain is gonna go. Ow, got it. It is time to destroy. Success. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these shattered pieces and I'm going to arrange them in, in a way that will make sense for the, this little section. You'll, you'll see what I'm going to do. Just watch. Alright, so I got the tiles right here arranged around this flower pot. Now this flower pot is gonna go underneath the table and it's gonna be this little pond that's gonna exist amongst the waterfall that's gonna go down right here. The next thing I gotta do is I gotta build up a little other waterfall section that's gonna lead into this pond. It's gonna sprout from here and then go into this little pond right here and then go into the bigger pond. So it's gonna be kind of a big waterfall, but. So right here I have some tiles, but if you look at these tiles, they kinda of just look like bricks. So I'm gonna build a little little pond for these bricks and yeah let's do it so i'm basically going to break off all these tiles be the bigger pond. Let's build a little pond. So what's going to happen is obviously this is going to be the end piece. We're going to drill a little hole in here and then this is going to connect like this. And then this is going to be connected up through here, and I think she's going to work flawlessly. to mix up the concrete right now to make the fountain.
so we pretty much have the waterfall all put together right now. We still need to go in and sand the little areas, but for the most part, it's pretty much complete. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the second layer or the upper level of the skate park. And basically what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna build this wooden bridge that's gonna be the upper deck. So we're gonna cut that out right now. And we have this really nice wood that is super, super, super smooth. And it's a new material, a new surface that you're able to ride on. I wanna have as many surfaces you can ride on in the skate park as possible. So every opportunity I can to have a new surface, I definitely will. So this is the surface for the upper section. But obviously, oh, we need to cut out some some parts right here, so that way the waterfall will be. So this little wall ride right here is looking really good and the skate park's getting to a really good position. The upper level is uh, nice and secured and this wall ride is helping secure that. But the next thing that we gotta do is we gotta basically build what this is going to attach to. And the first step in doing that is I have to build a kicker over here. So it's gonna be a little bit funky, but uh, yeah, watch the process. I got these two little side pieces cut out. Um, now I have to make the funky part. All right, so the next step that I have to do is I have to break this mirror. And I know it's really bad luck to break mirrors, but uh, it has to be done to do this video. And that's just how it's gotta be.
mirror kickers or my shattered mirror kickers um, out here drying with the glue. But now we're gonna go inside and we're gonna do something kind of special. So right now I'm building the kickers that will go right here. But the whole reason that I'm putting mirrors on it and everything is because this glass face right here, you'll be able to see into the inside of the kicker. So I wanna make it kind of like a little unique scene. So I have the mirror on this side to make it seem bigger, but on the ground, I wanna put some grass. I wanna put something that is different material than just this marble. Since you're never actually gonna ride on it, um, you're just gonna ride above it, it, I think it might be cool to put something that would visually pleasing inside. So I'm gonna get some fake grass and, and put it in. Funny enough, I actually have these two little uh, AstroTurf squares. They're, these are samples at Home Depot. If you wanna get them, they're free. So this is what I use for majority of the grass in my video. I just go and I get quite a few samples because that's all you really need first. I'm gonna glue these down in here. So let's do it. I'm putting the salt lamp on it uh, so that way it has some pressure to dry. All right, so I'm gonna cut some holes in this piece right here um, because if you guys have watched the last fingerboard building video, I drilled a whole bunch of holes in the side of the wall and I wanna make this match that theme. So I'm pretty much gonna do the exact same process. So let's throw some holes in it. So I got it all cut out right now. Now I'm gonna give it a nice little sand. super dandy. The next thing I got to do now is I got to take this kicker ramp and because these two are going to line up like this, I want to put something cool on the inside so that way it looks so that we can see through it. Um, in the previous section I used this hydro dip themed tissue paper and I think this looks really cool. It's a cool little heritage to the undialed past. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you're a true fan. But I'm gonna put this on right now. I'm gonna pull that piece of mirror out of my finger first, and now I'm gonna do it. All right, this looks kind of rough right now, but it's all good because you're barely even gonna see it. I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is I have super moss, and the super moss looks very good. The bad news is um, my hot glue gun unfortunately broke just right now. I don't know how. It was working fine like a, like a day ago but now it's broken. So I'm gonna have to super glue some of this moss in because as you can tell, you can still see like the, the perimeter edge around this grass and I don't really want that. So I'm gonna get this super moss and kind of fill in the nicks and crannies and just make it look really nice. this like random fingerboard deck so I'm gonna put it in there all right so before I put any concrete and make this section fully I'm gonna have to build a kicker that's gonna go right here um, I feel like I got to build this to know how this is gonna be before I put permanent concrete down so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the tip of this because it just comes out a little bit too far and I just gotta cut it off. But when I cut it, I'm gonna cut it at an angle so that way I can attach a board that will be an up-facing bank. So I'm going to select the angle on this device. I've been tasked in painting this beautiful piece of marble that is going to sit right up there and I'm basically gonna paint the inside of it. So adds just a nice little touch to the actual marble slab itself so I don't know what I'm gonna do and I have like 10 minutes to do this so Alright guys, so we're still in the journey of 
completing this uh, bank to bank up here. And what I gotta do is the next step is I got to paint these walls right here, this yellow color. So that way there's like these little pillars are yellow. I just think it'll look a lot better. I could just paint it like black or something, but details are everything. So I gotta paint this yellow. Something that I want to do to this wave part up here is I want to make it out of these marble bricks. So I'm going to cut out a little section of these marble bricks so it'll be perfect for that little area. All right, so I have a little strip cut out right here. And I'm going to start piling up some concrete so this can lay where it needs to lay.
All right, everyone. So we are almost done with this section. We're almost done with the fountain section, but we have a few things we got to do. So I want to put some coping that runs along this. So that way it is just a, like a coping ledge. And what I'm going to ultimately do is I'm going to cover this entire bit with concrete until around like here. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to build a little wall ride that goes up and over. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, get some coping and make it into the perfect shape. So the coping that I use is a one fourth inch aluminum rod. And the reason I use this is because I can bend it with my hands. I think probably on a micro scale, steel is probably a little bit better. It's like not as malleable, but because it's fingerboarding and like you're not really gonna bend the rail, I think that using aluminum is just fine. All right guys, so this might look a little bit goofy, but I got one rail bent into the perfect shape. I got the other rail bent into the perfect shape. Now I'm gonna cut these down to size and we're gonna install them.
Alrighty then, folks. Well, I think that wraps up this part one of several videos that are going to be coming out. I really hope you guys enjoy this so far. I really wish I could put like water in this and show you guys, but I got to finish the rest of the section first before I do anything like that. So for now, this is what it looks like. Um, make sure you go to undialed.co and pick up some new merch because it's really, really cool. So go over there and do that. But yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoy this super abstract piece of fingerboard skate park. I'm really hyped on it. Um, this is just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned.